Hey everyone, what's going on? Only is me, Feet here, and today I'm going to bring you all some Fantasy Star Online 2. And unlike last time, this time I actually have some legit gameplay to show off. And this game, guys, is really fun, and I'm going to tell you why. Because it's a free-to-play game, first of all, so if you're interested in this game, the only thing you really have to do is learn Japanese. Well, actually, there's plenty of guides, really. All you have to do is just look up a tutorial um, on how to set up an account. And I'll put that in the description rather than spend 20 minutes describing that. But yeah, if you set up your account and all that, uh, this is a really great free-to-play game. So far, I have not run into anything that seems like pay the win or anything that's like, if you do not buy this, you're going to have a miserable, miserable life. <laughs> and uh, I think most of the monetary items are either weapons or like armor which is really quite nice actually so anyways uh you can see my character i'm pretty sure he's a hunter i created him like back in like july so i'm actually a bit fuzzy but i think he's a hunter because he can fire this awesome weapon which i no longer uh equip as my main weapon anymore you'll see that uh not next time but maybe the time after that but uh, I do love this gun, it's basically a giant cannon that just kills everyone. And uh, what I really like about this game is the fact that you'll see me switch between um, my character being in the middle of the screen and then my character being like um, Gears of War style like this. Um, yeah, I know, I just compared this game to Gears. But uh, you can switch and uh, it's just really cool, it makes the combat a lot of fun. And uh, that's one of the things I really like about Fantasy Star Online too that the first one did not quite grasp is the fact that the combat doesn't suck this time around. I love the original Fantasy Star to Death, but the combat with like the guns and things, it just was not very satisfying. It was just, I don't know, it wasn't satisfying at all. But now you can do rolls and uh, all, all sorts of cool stuff. And uh, I know there's still like sorcery classes in Fantasy Star, if that's how you play these types of games. And uh, I type a couple things during this gameplay because why not? Well, originally I was just going to raw upload it, but I'm like, nah, that's easy cast flow money, so I'm actually going to do a commentary. Look, I'm doing one right now. Isn't this great? Anyways, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2, really great, and it's really helping me learn my Japanese. Um, well, the vocals anyways, not really the characters, because I think it's all katatana. I probably messed that up, but uh, I'm learning hiragana right now in my Japanese class, so uh, it's not really helping there yet, but uh, still a very fun game. I'm really enjoying playing this one. I love the cornfield, by the way, nice touch. And if you have never considered picking this game up for free, uh, I think you should do it. I think a lot of people run into the obstacle of their computer can't run this game, and I think it's a bit demanding for a... Uh, MMO actually, but it looks really great. So having a computer that can support the amazing graphics, I'm cool with it. But I know a lot of the time MMOs just have sucky graphics to, I guess, compensate for computers and so as many people as possible can pick them up. But this is totally worth the pickup. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about is the party system in this game because I think it's really cool, really unique, and uh, it's so easy. All you have to do is just create a room, and if people want to join you, they can, and they can instantly just join you, and then uh, they'll get into a chat with you, and then you can say, like, hey, I'm in the forest trying to kill... Uh, I mean, this would be easier if you were Japanese, obviously, but you'd be like, I'm trying to kill a giant gorilla, help me out, and your buddies will be like, alright, awesome. But uh, the party system works really well. I think Sega... I thought Sega would really screw that up, is. To my knowledge, the only other experience they have with that kind of thing is with uh, the first game. Oh, oh, Blue Burst, actually. And then also, I guess, Virtual Fighter 5 online in a weird way. But, yeah, I love the party system of this game. It's really great. Um, other things I can say about this game. Oh, the loot is really satisfying. There's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of different weapons. But unlike some MMOs I've played, they all feel... Unique. I think it's kind of like the Borderlands thing, where there's a lot of variations of weapons. And I mean, there's still a lot of weapons, but 
Wow, I just worded this really poorly. Okay, what I'm trying to say is, the guns can all look the same, but they'll have way different stats, and they play differently, and you have to think differently with them. And that's what I like to see. And uh, the variety in this game is just so great. I know there's a lot of customization options as well if you're into that. However, I have yet to come across a guide that really will just lay everything out for you and just really help you with customization. So, uh, my guy is probably not equipped with something that would make me do, like, triple damage or something, but that's alright. Because I'm getting along with this game fine. I've only died once so far. And a uh, quick pro tip to get, like, Moon mates and stuff uh, in the lobby, which I actually got out of this gameplay, is it's already long enough as it is. Uh, but pro tip, uh, in the lobby, before you like get to the place where you can go with uh, whatever area you want, you go to the second floor to buy moon mates. I, for the longest time, had no idea where to buy them. That's where I was in that uh, Miku video I posted before. Uh, great song, great girl, by the way. But. Um, Noon mates, buying as many of those as you can will really help you if you're just soloing it because finding English players isn't impossible, but uh, it's definitely more difficult than one would imagine. I think if you go on ship 2 and blocks 20 through 22, I think English speaking people hang out a lot there, so if you want to try to party up with them, uh, that's a good way to do it. The other good way to do it is you can always just wait until next. March? I'm not sure. But uh, this game is coming to America, and yeah, it'll all be in English and we'll all have a great time. I'm probably just going to make a second account if I can't use my this Sega ID, or it would be really boss if I could just import this guy but have English everything, but I don't think that'll work. But yeah, I really can't wait for the American release, so I can really take advantage of everything this game has to offer. But I'm telling you, even not knowing any Japanese, this game is insanely fun, and I would never play a lot of games due to the language barrier, but this one's an exception, and I really think you all should try this game out. And uh, you can see right there, I just completed my, I think this was like my 12th quest or something. Uh, pretty easy stuff. And uh, as this video is wrapping up, Definitely check this out. If you get this game, add me on your friends list, however one goes about doing that. And uh, that's about all I have to say. I'm enjoying this game. I'm enjoying life. And uh, I think I typed something really stupid here. Yeah, I do. But uh, anyways, I'll leave you with my score. And this is only as me feet saying, look ma, no hands, later. Battlefield 3 up next. Well, like, whenever I post a video. Might be a while. Perfect.